Hey YouTube, this is Curious Guy again. I guess this is a an addendum to my earlier video about LC tank circuits. Uh, I was showing you earlier that uh, I basically taking a capacitor and a inductor, in this case just a bit of wire, and connecting them in parallel after initially charging the capacitor, that energy is shared between the two components uh, and it oscillates in this damped uh, process where eventually that energy is all used out. Now we can see that kind of behavior here on the oscilloscope. Um, you can see this, the energy, the measuring the, the uh, uh, voltage across the capacitor. Initially it's fully charged and then it dumps itself down to negative and then positive, negative, positive, and then it basically bounces around ringing uh, between itself and the inductor towards zero again. What's interesting is that this is a essentially a, a five volt you see there are five volts uh, supply. And, and so if I charge this up, this capacitor will have basically five volts across it. And yet, if I reset my uh, visuals here, we can see that if I connect up and I get that ringing behavior, it's actually more than five volts. So what we see here, I've just got the uh, the power markers here, the voltage markers set up on my oscilloscope, and perhaps you can't see the numbers, uh, but from the initial reference point at the start, the 5 volts full charge, the capacitor voltage drops down to, well, down to here. The difference between those two is essentially 7.88 volts. So there's greater voltage being thrown around between the uh, capacitor and the inductor than was the original supply voltage provided to the circuit. And that's, again, theory says that the voltages and the currents inside LC circuits can be greater than uh, the original supply. Uh, it's, quite a, it's just kind of cool to see that in, in real world. So I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with that. Anyway, take care. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.